Hello, in previous video we talked about a very brief introduction about the Plotly Dash, right? So in this video we will try to see how to install Dash locally and maybe in later videos we will try to discuss about the architecture of Dash apps. So this particular video will be part of this Plotly Dash playlist so you can find this video over here now to install dash it's a very simple one because at the end of the day it's a python package right so as i told in the introductory video so everything uh, in dash like every code will be writing in a python file and whatever html css part we will be using at a, as a part of the development it is already Pythonized basically. So there are classes which is already wrapped those stuff over there. We'll see it in later videos as well. So to install dash, we can follow this particular simple installation manual. Like it just like pip install dash. This will be sufficient enough to install dash and its corresponding libraries over here. Okay. And if you want to use the Jupyter you want to use that dash with Jupyter notebook you may want to install pip using pip the Jupyter dash over here as well maybe we will cover this one in a separate video and whenever you will be working with dash applications basically you'll be developing dash applications so you will be extensively using pandas as well so you can install panda as well as a part of your installation because most like there are a lot of dash visualizations mainly the plotly express visualizations which use uh, pandas extensively so it is good practice to install pandas as well over there now to install dash locally we will try we will be using the virtual environment as well as like any other python based projects it is always good practice to use virtual environments and then install the packages you needed because it may happen that let's say if you are using two different application both of this application requires same package but different version let's say for an example in in application a you will be using a separate version of pandas compared to the in application b okay so in those cases virtual environment makes this makes our job easier over there so first we will create the virtual environment then maybe we will install dash in that particular as a part of that particular virtual environment so that the all the installation part of the dash and all will be local to our project basically so for that what i have done is if you see so to create a dash app locally create and deploy a dash app locally so you can choose any folder like in in your operating system anywhere you can create a folder and from there you can create a dash app and same is true for uh, windows and linux environment as well but when we will be deploying it to cloud we will see how what what makes it difference but initially we will try to set it up locally then maybe slowly we will go forward so for that if you see it like in my d drive i just I just have taken one simple folder called dash apps where all my dash apps will be there. Okay. So let's create a folder over here called sample dash app. Okay. So a dash app is simply a folder over here. Now I'll go inside the folder. First, I will create the virtual environment here then i will install the necessary packages over here now to install the virtual environment we will be using venv package so i will first if you see in my command prompt i just i just came inside that dash apps folder i'll just go inside the sample apps folder as well cd sample apps dash apps folder now i'll be using python dash m venv now here you need to give the virtual environment name so you can give any name over here it will basically create a corresponding folder name over here now you can you can try to do a lot of good practices over here as well generally that folder you do not bother about so you can create a hidden folder kind of stuff like dot sample virtual environment let's see if i just give sample virtual environment okay that also i can do so it will be a hidden folder kind of stuff so if i just do that 
so it will basically create the virtual environment over here and if you see it like it is basically creating this particular folder over here right with the different structure we will see that so if i just go inside this one you will see like all this whole python basically if you see it over here it basically contains the python installation itself right with this include lib in the lib side packages we have all our we will be having all our packages over here right so it basically in the virtual environment directory it is having the python installation itself over here so currently i am using python 3 so which most of you should be using by now because python 2 already getting obsoleted very soon so so mainly we will be using the python 3 over here and and this particular directory is actually holding the whole python 3 installation over here mainly required files over here now we will switch it to that python we basically will activate that particular virtual environment and install our packages over here to do that if you see inside this folder so there is a folder called scripts and there is a batch file if you are in windows there is a batch file called activate.bat if you are on linux you will get a bin folder over here then there is a activate program so you, which you can use it so as i am windows so i will be using this scripts and then this activate.bat over here so from my command prompt i will just go to that particular directory and then i will run that particular bat file cd scripts dash then activate activate dot bat over here sorry it should be there should be not be any cd over here so scripts activate dot bat so if you see so this particular virtual environment name will be added over here something like this one so now if i just install any packages it will be installed as a part of this virtual environment over here so that package will be available only for my project over here that's the idea so if i just go over here now and i'll just simply install dash now so i'll go over here so i'll just basically go over here and then see this one so i will just use pip install dash so once you do that as a part of the dash installation it actually installs lot of packages one is flask if you see it over here so let it let it do that one if you see like it is saying installing collected packages all these packages will be installed as a part of the dash and the main important packages are flask then dash html component if you see dash table dash core components so these are the basically component libraries as i was saying before like everything every html tags and all everything has been pythonized right so these guys are actually holding this stuff so if i just go to the dash documentation it will make more sense and if you see like there are documentation related to the dash core component this one right this one so they have basically developed lot of like this controls like checklist clipboard downloader uploader drop down and everything has been pythonized so you just need to add it something like you need to basically uh, refer this package and install it uh, or basically create that particular control let's say for checklist it will be something like this one so you will be importing that core component which we are installing through using the pip install dash and then to create a checklist it will be something like dcc dot checklist so this is the core component dot checklist and the options over here so this is this much simple you do not need to write any kind of html code over here and if you see the html component each and every html tags like area a b base everything has been pythonized over here so to give a line break it will be something like this one so you will be basically referring to that html component and then just html dot br so that it will basically create a line break over here we will discuss these steps one by one but first let us see how our packages has been installed or not yeah it has been already installed over here and if i just go to our virtual environment lib site packages so these are all these packages core components html component dash table dash everything has been installed over here also 
we will be doing the pandas as well over here just just like we have it over here correct so we will also install pandas because we will be using pandas as well extensively so we, let's do that one okay pandas also installed over here so at least we are ready to develop apps in dash locally in next video onwards we will try to see how to develop dash apps and slowly we will talk about more advanced stuff over there as well hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video